we did put a lot of duct in there. But, you know, one thing that scares me is when we run a clash detection, we might not really be clashing on the real stuff that's in there. Be careful. Let's jump into Revit in the project browser under Mechanical, HVAC. Let's go to Floor Plan Level 1. Zoom into this area here. That annoying hatch pattern on the floor is still there, but that's okay. I'm going to ignore it. I want to add some insulation. So I'm going to select maybe a few pieces of duct. That one, that one. Maybe I'll select that damper. Select the fitting. Select my duct. Maybe select my end cap. My reducer here. I'm just going to come up to where I get to my fire damper. Select these. Select my balancing damper. This little piece here. Ooh, yeah, and let's grab that flex duct too. Let's add insulation. Click add insulation. The insulation type, we can have duct wrap or rigid fiberboard. We could click edit type. The type, we could always duplicate this, but basically it's just a material. Duct wrap is fine. Click OK. The thickness, one inch or 25 millimeters, that works for me. Let's click OK. There we go. Now it's added it. It's kind of hard to see it. If you click on your thin lines button, it's there. All right, so here's our duct. And our duct wrap is around the outside of it. So pretty simple, but that's how you add duct insulation.